Hi, Assalamu Alaikum and good morning everyone. Thank you for visiting my channel again. Abdul Rahim here with you. So we are going to start our next lesson. In the last lesson, I explained you how we are going to take images, like where you need to keep your probe to get different images, how you need to rotate your marker and how you need to change your angles to get different images. Okay. Although it was a quick one, but hopefully you guys understand it. If you have any questions, you can ask me anytime. You know that one. Today I'm going to take you to one of the study and I will show you that how different images looks like and what you are going to see in those images. Okay, I will try to label the images just to just for our students who want to make the notes or who want to keep, keep the pictures with them. This is for them. So it will be a detailed thing about all the images from parasternal long axis, short axis, epical views, subcostal and suprasternal going in very detail. But I just want to give you a start that you should know what you are going to see in different sort of images. Okay, so let's come on to the echo and I'll explain you there. Thank you. Okay, so here you are. Hopefully you can see my cursor. So this is parasternal long axis image. Okay, I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to explain you what we are going to see in this image. Okay, so I'll freeze it just and I'll label it for you. So let's keep it here, okay? So I'll be writing it just to make it easier for you to understand. Oh, sorry. Let me make it this way. So this one is your left atrium, okay? Here you come, this one is your left ventricle, okay? This is the valve in between these two chambers, left atrium and left ventricle. You know this is the left side and this is the mitral valve, okay? so. This one is mitral valve. I will. I'm just going to write MV here, okay. And this one is anterior mitral leaflet. We call it AML, okay. And this one here is posterior mitral leaflet (PML), okay. So these are the thing. And then these are the LV wall. So this is one of the LV wall. We call it infralateral wall. And this is the septum, okay? So I'm going to write here IVS, IVS, and I'll move it here. This is your interventricular septum. This is your RV here, okay? And this one is your aortic valve. If we slightly move the image, if we can, yeah, you see these, these leaflets which are open here? Uh, yeah. So this one, this area particularly, I will tell you this area calls LVOT, okay? So I'm going to write here LVOT area, left ventricular outflow track. And this is your aortic valve, AV. And you see two leaflets here. One is the right coronary cusp and one is non-coronary cusp. So I'm going to write RCC. RCC is right coronary cusp, which is up there. And then I'm going to write the NCC, which is non-coronary cusp, okay, which will be here. This bright thing, which is going here and also coming here, this is your pericardium. The most outer layer, if you remember it, this is your pericardium, okay, this is your myocardium. This one, which you see here, the black circle here, this one, this one is your descending thoracic aorta. So I'm just going to write descending de descending aorta okay so this one is your descending aorta so almost i covered everything for you so this is your parasternal long axis image if we play it these are the things you are going to see mainly in the parasternal long axis image there's another thing which is a very small hole if you notice here there's a very small hole here okay in this, uh, in usually in normal patients, you don't see it prominent, but sometimes you see it prominent. This is called coronary sinus, okay? It uh, goes just uh, beside the mitral valve and then it drains into the right atrium. So this is, uh, this is all, this is your parasternal long axis image, okay? So I labeled, I labeled everything for you. So hopefully you, you can understand now this one. If you have any questions, you can ask me. Now I'll move on to our next image. Uh, by the way, I uh, just want to show you another thing is that um, once I, 
once I take my probe slightly up, I I got this view. You see? So now I can see this ascending iota here. So you see my LV move out of the image and then uh, I can see the ascending iota here. This is my ascending iota, okay? Then we move on to the next image, this one. This one is your RV inflow view, okay? As you know from the name RV inflow, so this is your, um, if we go into the label, this one is your RA, this one is your RV, this one is your tricuspid valve. Tricuspid is a tri-leaflet valve, you know from the name, the tricuspid valve. So it's a tri-leaflet valve. Uh, the name of the leaflets are anterior, posterior and septal leaflet, okay? There is only one view where you are going to see the posterior leaflet and uh, that is this view. Otherwise, in every view, you, uh, you will see septal leaflet and anterior leaflet. So this is the only view where you are going to see the uh, posterior leaflet. But you need to make sure that there is no LV coming here in the picture, okay? If you start taking the LV here, it means this will be your septal leaflet. So this is now your posterior leaflet and this is your anterior tricuspid valve leaflet. You see something floating here? This one is your eustachian valve, okay? And this one is the IVC and here is the coronary sinus coming in. So I'll, I'll label these all things for you as well just to if someone wants to take the notes or keep the picture for them. So let's do it. This one is your eustachian valve. Okay, so this one is your eustachian valve. Then this one is your IVC. Okay, here is your coronary sinus. Okay, so this is your anterior tricuspid valve leaflet. Okay, and this one is your posterior tricuspid valve leaflet. So this is this is how you are going to get. Perfect. So we did the two views, parasternal views, okay? Now we'll move on to our next, which one is, uh, which is the short axis view at aortic valve level, okay? So I'm just getting the, you know, a normal echo. I'm not, um, I'm not trying to get the best picture to show you everything. So I'm just showing you the main pictures. So if you remember in the last vlog when I to uh, told you about the imaging, I told you when you are going to see the aortic valve leaflets better, then you will not see the tricus, uh, the pulmonic uh, clearly, okay? So I'll show you in the next image that how you take the pulmonic clearly. Anyway, this is your aortic valve level. So I'll write here for you that which one is the view and then the rest of the things, okay? This one is your uh, parasternal short axis at AV. Okay, so aortic valve level parasternal show. This one is your aortic valve, AV, okay. So this leaflet is uh, RCC, the upper one. This one is LCC, and this one is your NCC. It means the right coronary artery arises from here, left coronary artery arises from here, and from here no coronary artery arises. Right coronary cusp, left coronary cusp, and non-coronary cusp. And then, always remember that in transthoracic echo, wherever you will see the aorta or aortic valve, inferior to the aortic valve, you are going to see the left atrium. Keep this uh, hint in your mind, or always keep in your mind that wherever you are going to see the left atrium, beside the left atrium, slightly superior, you are going to see the aorta, okay? Because in exams, if you see some sort of question and you are not understanding it, if you have kept these kind of points in your mind, they will help you, okay? So next is this one. This one is your left atrium. Let me write left atrium. Okay, this one is your interatrial septum here. Okay, this one is your right atrium. Okay, this one is your tricuspid valve. So again, this leaflet will be the septal tricuspid leaflet and here will be the anterior tricuspid valve leaflet. Okay, then you go into the RV. Okay, and then here you are going to see the pulmonic valve. So these are all things you are going to see it here. Okay, if you look at this one, this area, 
here is called left atrial appendage okay you see these are two tricuspid valve leaflets this is going to be the septal one and this is going to be the anterior one posterior you will only see it in the rv inflow view so we came into the next image and you see this one now you are not seeing the aortic valve now okay because you came slightly superior but now you can see very clear the pulmonic valve this is your pulmonic valve here let me write for you uh, but i think no no need to write even here this is your pulmonic valve this one is your pulmonary artery main pulmonary artery or pulmonary trunk or whatever you call it this is your rpa which means right pulmonary artery and this is your lpa which is left pulmonary artery so uh, this is the same image but you just need to take your tail slightly downwards to image slightly superior to get the pulmonary artery okay so this is how you are going to get the pulmonary artery then your next image will be this one this one is your uh, uh, short axis at mitral valve level uh, i will just write it um, this one for you psx at mv level okay so this one is your mitral valve okay this the superior leaflet is aml which is anterior mitral leaflet and this leaflet is called posterior mitral leaflet okay this one is your septum from here to here is your septum okay this this cavity is lv cavity you are looking at the lv from the base cavity this is your base and mitral valve is attached on the base of the mitral uh, left ventricle okay this one is your um, interventricular septum ivs interventricular septum and this one is your rv okay all done in the next view you will get the same sort of image okay but you will see these two things here you see instead of mitral valve you are seeing these two things here which are these two muscles here which is papillary muscles okay this is your anterolateral papillary muscle and this is posteromedial papillary muscle this is sh uh, parasternal short axis at papillary muscle level and this is the mid lv cavity okay so this one is your uh, let me write for you just to i'm writing it just for the students who are who, are, who might be making notes or they need these things for their exam personal short axis for uh, lv or papillary muscle paps i'm just writing paps so you know papillary muscles so this is mid cavity lv cavity lv okay these are two papillary muscle this is anterolateral papillary muscle okay and this is posteromedial papillary muscle okay again this is all septum this is the rv here so there are different walls of the lv which i will tell you once we will be doing the um, uh, you know the study with the um, uh, systolic function which will be starting soon after this one okay that's why i'm going through the imaging very quickly so this one is done then you go further into it okay you take your probe further up okay and you see the papillary muscles are gone now so you see only this cavity here this is the apical level okay so i'll use this one just to guide you better yeah let me see the speed okay good so this is your apical level this is your rv this is your lv and this is the apical level of the parasternal short axis okay then we move on to our uh, uh, you know this is an easy image apical four chamber this is your left side and this is your right side okay i'll quickly write the things for you just to make it easier for everyone to understand so let us la lv this is rv sorry ra here is your tricuspid valve here is your mitral valve this is anterior mitral leaflet this one is your posterior mitral leaflet okay so this is all done this is your four chamber view okay 
the next one you move on to get this image this is your apical two chamber view this is focused on lv so you are not seeing the proper uh, two chamber view okay i will see if i get yeah this one so this one is your apical two chamber view you see this one is your lv this one is um, la and this is your mitre valve okay if you look at this this is your left atrial appendage you are seeing still some part of the uh, ra so maybe we can improve this image to get a better two chamber but anyway you will the two chamber will look like this then this is called your three chamber view let me see a better one yeah maybe this is the three chamber view this is again a apical long axis view so you are going to see everything what you see it in long axis so this is your left atrium left ventricle mitral valve anterior leaflet posterior leaflet and also this is your lvot and aortic valve leaflet and this is a part of the rv if you want me to write quickly i can write it for you just to just for the sake of our students who who are going for the exam this one is your rv this one is your av this one is your mv okay this is la and this is your lv and this is your apical three chamber view okay so all done you can understand this one properly now okay then we'll move on to our next image which uh, i'll see if i get this one this is another image let me remove the color from here so it's not a very clear image sorry but this is what you call apical five chamber view okay so you will see all the four chamber things but you just take your tail slightly downwards and you will see the aorta opening here so this is apical five chamber view apical five chamber view looks like this way okay then we move on to our subcostal view this is your subcostal view not a very clear one again but it's okay you this is your right atrium this is good for interatrial septum because you are aligned and you can get good color there this is your left atrium this is your lv and this is your rv okay here you go ra and la mainly mainly sorry mainly these are the important things here and this is your ias so these are the things once you look at this one then you move your probe slightly and you will get this this image you see this one this one is your ivc which is coming into the heart okay so this one is your ivc left uh, inferior vena cava which is draining into the right atrium this is your right atrium here so i move the image slightly this way to bring the ivc in okay so this is your ivc now and then uh the same way then you will look one image like this okay or maybe like this and you will see this sort of image which is your abdominal aorta this is your abdominal aorta let's forget about it that's not very important at the moment so then you will get this sort of image this is your um, suprasternal image this is the arch and descending aorta in the middle you are going to see the right pulmonary artery here okay this is your descending aorta arch and right pulmonary artery so these are all images and what you see inside the images okay in the next video we are going to start properly like to how we assess the systolic or diastolic i will see which one we start first uh, maybe a diastolic function or maybe we will do a cardiac cycle before moving on to it okay so we are done with the imaging okay if you have any questions you can ask me anytime i'm sorry i know i'm going through quickly with the images because um, i think uh, you guys will learn better once you will be doing the practice thank you very much keep subscribing and please share it with others thank you bye bye